So PHP 8.2 adds a new way of writing classes. You can make them read-only. And in essence, it means that every property of that class is read-only from now on. Uh, let's change it back and you can see it's just a little more concise. <laughs> Of course, to appreciate read-only classes, we'll first have to understand why read-only properties are useful. And so we have a class here, it's called user, and in essence, it's a data transfer object. It's an object that encapsulates the data of anything, user in this case, in a typed and structured way. Now imagine you have a function that, let's say, adds a user and takes an array of data. And you can see the problem with the arrays here. They are a black box from the outside. You don't know whether there is a name in here or an address, maybe what kind of fields would be available in that address. We don't know. So oftentimes when you're using arrays to represent structured data, you often end up in situations where you have to either dump the contents of that array, uh, you have to read the documentation or use a debugger. And honestly, that's kind of cumbersome. And so a data transfer object is a very simple class, one without much functionality that just represents data in a structured way. In this case, we can write address and you can see how our IDE autocompletes uh, everything we need. Uh, we can do static analysis on this code and we have the added benefit of type safety as well. Now back to read-only properties. Uh, a common practice with these kinds of objects is that you want to prevent their properties from being overwritten from the outside. This could be because of a bug or maybe someone else working your code who doesn't know all the details. And so what usually happens in object-oriented programming is to make these properties private and to provide getters for them. But as you can see, that's, that's quite a lot of code. Of course, it, it guarantees that an object's data is properly encapsulated, but on the other hand, it adds so much boilerplate and overhead. And honestly, it's one of the reasons why object-oriented programming gets such a bad name, because it feels very verbose for what we're trying to do. And so simply put, this is the problem that read-only properties solve. We can make our properties public, and we can ensure they won't be overwritten from uh, the outside. In fact, a read-only property means it can only be set once when constructing a user in this case, and it cannot be overwritten afterwards anymore. The only downside, of course, with PHP 8.1 was that every property needed to be declared read-only. And so PHP 8.2 adds read-only classes, essentially making all properties read-only and making our code even less verbose and clean. I would say it's a nice addition, but what about you? Let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe, and maybe check out this video that I made next. See you there.